everyone. Yeah, I, hope, uh, I hope everyone had a very good weekend. It is me, Johnson Chan. And yeah, I'm actually liking these very casual days, you know, where I do the absolute minimum work and content. And I just simply relax, you know. But, um, hey, work's not going to get itself done, because obviously I don't have a robot or AI to make this stuff. So, you know, got to gotta keep things uh, updated and live from time to time. So, anyway, well, it was a pretty good weekend. Not really much going on. Very nice weather, actually. Um, so, couldn't really be happier. Just, uh, it, it just feels, it just feels that things are just so slow, you know? So, so anyway, uh, let's see. All right, before we get into seven, seven, seven something, um, you know, I just want to take a quick look at the markets. I mean, I already took a glance before, but it's looking like it's going to be a pretty good day. So all the losses we had on Friday should uh, more or less just be uh, obliterated today, hopefully. All right. And of course, the 10-year yield is actually pretty stable. All right. Um, let's see. And the dollar is getting weaker, too. So let me see how crypto is affecting everything. Yeah, I mean, oh, I should actually tweet this out. Uh, yeah, Bitcoin's almost 32k. Crypto is actually doing well. So, all right. So I haven't seen it uh, affect too much of the really out there altcoins. But mm, let me see. Royal Pay, of course, is taking off. Titanos still kind of there out there. Sphere's out there. Yeah, I mean, Seifu, Web3, and even Orca Protocol are down. All right. Well, uh, I guess people are not really into altcoins right now. Hmm. So we'll have to see um, how things turn out. Oh, great. I the wrong thing here. All right. No, this is earn. I clicked the wrong button. I want to buy this token if I can find it. I mean, buy on bonk swap. Okay. Here's the chart. Oh, okay. They have a chart. How handy. All right. This is on bonk, right? So let's see. BSC. So overall, I mean, crypto should be doing better. So I'm not really sure why Titano forks are not recovering yet. But, you know, let's give it a couple of days because, you know, people are still kind of just coming out of their slumber. So, we'll, you know, we'll see how things go. Let's set this to four hours. All right. So the, one of the first things I have to check is, all right, this is actually a lock pay type of project. <clears throat> now, the problem is, Royal pay keeps going up, but this has like consecutive. It's had a couple of days where it's gone down consecutively, so that's already a pretty bad sign. That I don't like. So I'm kind of hoping that whatever exploit that lock pay and therefore Earnville copied, which of course made Earnville go go to shit. You know, hopefully they did not duplicate that here, but I really just can't tell. I mean, they say they, you know, you can't sell more than 1% to 5%, but, I mean, if they don't close the loophole, I mean, that's kind of a problem. Because, you know, again, this site does look really nice. And, of course, it's got that nice little gambling feeling. <clears throat> now, the good news is I do see this little thing here. This is exactly what Royal Pay did, right, before it went, you know, steadily upwards. The problem is I'm still seeing this go down steadily before kind of recovering. So, and this costs more money than Royal Pay, so per token. Hmm. So, I don't know. Unless you could actually read contract code, you have to check to make sure that... I don't know what the exploit actually is. I just know at least of one instance, which is to get around the sell limit of 1% to 5% a day, you transfer your tokens to a different wallet address, and then you sell off that or there. And then you just keep repeating the process. <clears throat> so that's the only thing you have to look out for. But with that being said, I mean, if the exploit was present, maybe this thing would be dumping a lot harder right now. Um, maybe there's a way we could check. Uh, let's look at something older. Okay. All right. So this is whatever this is. Okay. Hmm. Now he's got a lot of... Oh, geez, this guy has way too many transactions. That's what makes this even more difficult to really check on. All right, let's see if we can get something here. 
Uh, okay. There, uh, all right. What I'm looking for is something that says, like, send tokens. So far, I'm seeing approvals and claims. And then, of course, claim your awards, whatever selling gold really means. So, <clears throat> yeah, I don't actually see that. So, I don't know. Maybe 777 does not have that wall-to-wall -wall transfer exploit. So maybe they actually closed it, which is obviously really important because if you don't close it, your project's going to die. That's why LockPay and Urnville have to do freaking version 2 and then a lot of people lost money, you know. And then, you know, I lost money on Lock LockPay, <clears throat> right? So I got back a little bit of it. <clears throat> but, you know, it's very annoying. That these people, you know, don't fix, like, test anything out. So, and it's frustrating, too, because now that I finally learned my lesson, I put the least amount of money into royal pay, and that happens to be the project that goes straight to the moon. It's, like, it's literally so, you know, effing frustrating, you know. But, I mean, that's just how it goes, right? Because I gave an example. I might have mentioned this example on my video before or on Twitter for sure, but... The idea is to find, like, ten projects, right? None of them are going to fail, but one of them is actually going to work. So it's the one that works that gives you constant money every day. So then you have to go back out and do another ten projects. None of those will fail, but you'll find one of, out of that ten that works, and then now you have two good projects, and you just keep, you know, growing from there. But it doesn't make it any less annoying, you know? So... You know, well, I guess if Royal Pay turns out to be the chosen coin, well, I mean, that's just how it goes, right? At least I have something, right? And you and I have something. So let's just see if Lucky Sevens can also roll the dice a little bit and then also get lucky, too. Uh, but with that being said, you know, I really don't like this string of reds. But it hasn't caused any catastrophes yet. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's nothing wrong with this project, and it just so happens that they're just not doing enough marketing. You know, so... I mean, Dow King uh, follows them, so I assume that these guys have paid Dow King to promote their thing. So let me see if his videos around here. <clears throat> uh, they do seem to be having. All right, so they're very active on Twitter. That's a very good sign. Okay, blah blah. Good volume. Okay. Look at can it succeed? Is Lucky Seven a better lock pay fork? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, only because obviously we follow each other, so and we're in the elite Discord. So okay, well I mean if Dow King's willing to you know shill for this project, I mean I'm gonna assume he did some of his homework. Hmm. I gotta admit that that is that a Big Mac? Because I don't actually eat from Mc... We don't actually have McDonald's here, surprisingly. We have every, we have Burger King and, the, and then local small shops. You know, um, believe it or not, my area is actually super conservative, right in the middle of, you know, New York City. And they're, and they're very hostile towards uh, big business type of, you know, thingies. All right, so that actually is a good thing. What is, what is this? Hitting the sevens every 30 minutes. Oh what what oh wow whoever this guy is actually invested a crap load of money into into Lucky Seven so this guy better hope that this thing doesn't have any exploits otherwise it's gonna be really a a problem. All right so that being said okay so this actually does seem fairly decent all right because again Dow King he still goes by that right Dow King. Yeah, Dow King just doesn't show any random a-hole project, right? Not like certain other YouTubers that'll just take anyone's money and then promote, like, you know, 50% of the time scams. So, yeah. All right, so that that's good. All right, so lock page for anti for big dumps. Uh, okay, lock to earn protocol. Um... I don't know. I've never had to lock in anything. I mean, I assume that because of the one to five restriction percent on selling your tokens every day, that that's the lock, I guess. So you're getting 2.48% a day, double your tokens in less than 30 days, cash out, da 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 da, da. Yeah, all right, so that's the standard stuff. I just want to see if they've mentioned anything about fixing the exploit. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
Okay. And blah, 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 blah. I mean, you can look at this, but I mean, you don't really need to look at the calculations. I mean, we all know that, you know, it's going to make a million dollars. But again, you have to make sure that the stupid anti-dumping mechanism actually works. You know, I'm still kind of salty about Urnville and LockPay. Very frustrating. Whales can't dump, uh, yeah, one to five. Okay. There's a three and a half percent auto burn on, I assume, every transaction. So that's good. And of course, there's a treasury. Let me see. I'm going to lose my place here. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to actually lower this a little. All right. So this looks pretty good. 5.3 billion tokens. Circulating supply is 4.1 billion. So... This actually looks really good. Funny enough, I think this is worth more or as much value as Titano, which is funny. Rebase frequency is daily, but it's really every 30 minutes. Okay, here's the liquidity. Yeah, and the treasury balance is actually really good too. So this actually worked out pretty well. Um, you know, I'm too lazy to really link to their dashboard, so I guess my stupid co camera's covering it. I mean, you can just click on the upper right. I just want to keep the text a little more concise. I'm just going to link to the main page. All right, let's get back to what else. I mean, we're already getting close to the end of this page. Ah, uh, okay. Um, to prevent exploiting, uh, blah, 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 there's an 80% tax on transfers from one wallet to another, excluding buys and sells, of course. Okay, so, so good. This is what I exactly... This is exactly what I was looking for. I was starting to get like, okay, where is the thing? All right, so now I understand why we have this little red thing. So, yeah, so this is actually a, well, let me think. Yeah, that probably would cause the, those red lines. But that's the thing. Is it even worth it? No, you just lose too much money. Yeah. I mean, you would maybe transfer some of your stake to another wallet, take the 80% tax penalty, and then dump that. Which is still kind of stupid, to be honest. All right. To prevent, uh, yeah. So, okay, so this is kind of interesting. So they allow people to transfer tokens, but they take 80%, which is good. Personally, I would still prefer you just cannot transfer it, or essentially a 100% tax. Uh, but, I mean, I guess there's reasons why you want to allow people to, you know, send tokens or whatever. All right, anyway, the, let's see, buy tax is 10, the sell tax is 19, so that's good. And, of course, slippage is 14 and 20. Okay, that's interesting. And then you can see the breakdown of everything, but obviously we don't care about that. All right, so, and I like that they have Discord, Telegram, and, of course, Twitter. So, so Dow King showing it, and they have all the... They have the three primary socials that I would like to see, Discord, Telegram, and Twitter. So I'm pretty sure that this is not a scam project. So in fact, I mean, I would still rather buy Royal Pay because right now that is still really cheap compared to this token. Well, that being said, this doesn't seem like a bad project either. So now competition just happens to be kind of fierce, right? So, yeah. And their liquidity pool also has very few tokens. So I'm not really sure why there's so many uh, outstanding tokens, because I'm not really sure where they are where they are hiding at. So let's take a look. Uh, small. Okay. They're, uh, half of the tokens are in some kind of contract, so I assume they're going to do something with that. All right, I assume they're going to have a... Cause, I mean, it is called Lucky 7, so maybe there's some kind of casino thing coming out. They didn't say anything about that on the front page, though. Um, but with that being said, let's see. Okay, so the burn address has 20%, well, specifically 22%. I don't have to calculate. And then the rest seems to be locked in some kind of contract or whatever. So this actually looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, so this actually is pretty good. Is that, this is, if, if Royal Pay was not in existence, I would be buying this project, believe it or not. I mean, I'm not too thrilled again with these red things, but, I mean, I would still be okay just putting in a small bag, because, again, you know, even size bets, right? Because, again, you just never know when something just blows up, right, for whatever reason, right? Earnville and Lock Pay is just the latest 
example of something that can go wrong does go wrong and then it just tanks to like you know minus a hundred percent basically you know very very annoying very very frustrating i mean my only saving grace is that urnville has already done their snapshot so i'll eventually uh just get urnville version 2 and hopefully this time these effing idiots you know like after many months of waiting on these people they come out with a project and then it just dies, right? You know how frustrating that is? It's like, I can understand waiting a long time for a product that works, but waiting a long time for a pro product that does not work is extremely frustrating, right? I mean, I only put in 200 bucks in Urnville, but, you know, it, it still is, you know, very aggravating, right? And that's also why I'm just being a lot more strict with my investments. That's why I'm still putting money... I don't put any money in anymore because it's already big enough, but if I were, I would just put it into Crops Farmer Yield Farmer for BUSD, right? Just get, you know, 3% a day daily fix. I did the video on it. It's on the playlist. And then I want to just do BNB Miner, right? And then, there's no, and then I already have a pretty large position on my Crops Farmer Miners, and then that's it. And then I just withdraw money from everywhere else, you know, so. But either way, that's my ramble. Uh, so with that being said, this is actually a pretty solid project. I'm not going to actually put my money into this, right? Because I already have other projects, um, you know. Uh, and with that being said, I would like to find out why this thing is going red a little bit. You know, it's actually having a hard time going up. So it could be a marketing issue. I, I don't know. But, I mean, from the way it looks, it should be solid. There should actually be no real reason why this is going down. So... 2.48% a day daily. I mean, maybe that's a little too much, but I don't know. Royal Pay, Royal Pay pays out quite a bit too. I mean, I know it's at least like two point something. So I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it's three percent. Well, either way, I don't know. But whatever it is, you can check out seven 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 finance. You know, looks all right. Uh, but with that, with that being said, you know. I, I already I'm already spread out quite a bit so yeah uh, and again competition's fierce but yeah anyway like subscribe share this video around uh, thank you again to all the old and new people watching this video uh, we've actually been growing quite well so thank you you know for all that because I rely on you to keep spreading the word around you know and I still haven't really thought of anything about expanding the stocks yet because, A, I still kind of want to be lazy and focus mostly on crypto, but on the other hand, B, and this is actually the big one, I don't actually know what I could say when it comes to stock market stuff because I would just read, like, the news or something and then just say, yeah, but none of this matters because it's, it's all up to the Federal Reserve to <laughs> pump the markets anyway. So, I mean, what, what can – what what – what value can I really add to this, you know? So that, that's why I'm trying to figure out if there's something I can do, you know, because because I like the format of just covering a specific crypto project and then that just gets rankings on YouTube because people are searching, hey, is this a legit project? Is it a scam project, right? Is it going to go to the moon or is it going to die, you know, kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I'll I'll I'll, I'll keep uh, I'll keep sitting on it. You know, there's no rush because if there is a right reason, you know, it'll find me. You know, God will let me know. So anyway, I'll see you in the next project. It's gonna be a little more complicated. It's called Frost Flakes. So yeah, it's also apparently a pretty small project. So we'll take a look. But either way, check out um, Lucky Sevens. I'm not gonna call it Lucky Sevens. I mean, it looks. I mean, it looks decent. And as always, don't put all your money into this one project, right? Because, again, you just never know. There's there, there's always Murphy's Law, right? So even size bets, if this project turns out to be good, you'll now have an actual good project throwing you, you know, good daily income every day, and then you can go out and do whatever you want with it. You know, personally, you should just keep reinvesting the money, right? If you had, like, 10, 20 projects like Lucky Sevens and Royal Pay and Sphere Finance and whatever... I mean, then there's no excuse for being poor anymore, right? Just do whatever you want in your life. Probably buy real estate, right? Because, you know, real estate's the ultimate investment, right? So I, I I really wish that when I still had a bunch of money like a couple of years ago, including last year, you know, I made the transition. To, even if I just bought like a shitty, like tiny little condo, that would have actually have, you know, gone up in price. And then plus, you know, my rent payment would actually be going towards paying myself, right? Because I'm... Because it's really equity payments.
Ah, so now I gotta play catch up, right? I gotta play catch up. Yeah. Anyway, I rambled on long. I can't believe this is twenty minutes. Like, I spent twenty minutes just rambling about about a bunch of different random stuff. Like, I thought this would be ten fifteen minutes. All right, well, whatever. I mean, that's just how it goes. I mean, we're only doing two videos today, anyway. So, I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.